Okay, welcome to the Rice News TV. Uh, today we have a special package for you. And uh, what we have here is about um, the Kenya West. You see, rapper Kenya West draws followers to church service. Then again, rapper and one spot boy West would have been even more surprised if he had been told that he would be organizing those church services. He said someone didn't tell him. It was in a hospital room in France, not much more than a year ago, where West was overcome with what he said was a divine call to start a church. He had shoved himself into that hospital as a result of physical and emotional exhaustion. His wife, King Kardashian, has just been violently robbed in Paris and one of the largest business deals of, her, of his life had just fallen apart. This global celebrity who apparently had it all, fame, fortune, talent, beauty, was at a breaking point. From that hospital room, West emerged with a conviction that God was calling him to start a church. He had explained to him that this was not possible because he wasn't a pastor. West was different. He was convinced that the idea his urges were calling him possible had in fact come from God. He pressed on, adjusting his original understanding of building a church to the more evil hybrid gathering he has now pitched as a Sunday service experience with guest preachers and much more. I believe Kenya is sincere both in his spirit and in his efforts to spread the gospel. There is new sentiment. Mm. To Los Angeles this past weekend to experience and then report on that has begun a high impact on the state. Yes, how West Sunday service members with only a few days notice a venue and time is announced by the West team. The service usually takes place in Los Angeles at the forum, but West has also taken the show for the movie. The service begins with a warm-up bands and a warm-up preacher. Yes, a warm-up preacher. Then the lights go out and the professional choir, comprised of hundreds of singers, including West himself, enters the venue. Then the lights go up and the main show begins. And what a show it is. One part hip hop concert, two parts gospel, choir bonanza, one part was being west and three parts Billy Graham style revival, complete with the preaching of the gospel message of salvation and altar call to accept Jesus into your life. Tickets sell for about twenty dollars and proceed reportedly go to the charities of West Shops. This past week, the venue was sold out with seventeen thousand hundred people in attendance. The congregants were as diverse ethnically and as they were religiously. The average age must have been under 35. The music, dancing, and preaching were choreographed perfect. With words in full provision mode, calling audibles to his many assistants throughout the two and a half hour service. This Kenyan West Sunday service couldn't have been more different. And what I was used to as a priest living near the Vatican for nine years, or even than the early morning mass I attended earlier that day, just a few months from before. And uh, today we have just heard it all about Terence News TV, and we urge you to keep following us and keep subscribing of Terence News TV. Thank you.
you are working on things that are too small. Take a step back. Stop worrying about, stop worrying about your college, uh, your loans. Stop worrying about what job that they got waiting for you in Silicon Valley. MIT, you can save the world. Kids in college, you can save the world. I'll put my life on this interview right now. It's up to y'all. Y'all have the ability to just step up back. Step back from what you think culture is today. It's not, it's not about any candidate. It's not about red or blue. It's about humanity. Y'all talking about it's 12 years of oxygen left. Talking about we're going to kill the earth. We can't kill the earth. We're going to kill the things that keep us alive on the earth, and the earth going to survive. It's up to y'all, y'all the future. Y'all the future, but what y'all working on right now? Working on, I'm working on this 3D printed thing that is funded by, funded by who though? 